Welcome, Bible students. Today, we're diving into Mark chapter 14. This chapter is pivotal, capturing the betrayal, prophecy, and sacrifice that lead up to Jesus' crucifixion. Let's break it down. First, we see the Jewish leaders, the Pharisees, Sadducees, chief priests, and elders plotting to arrest Jesus. Their main challenge? The crowd. Jesus had spent the week winning the hearts of the people and humiliating the religious leaders. They needed to arrest him when he was vulnerable to avoid a riot. Next, we encounter a beautiful act of worship. At Simon the leper's home, an unnamed woman anoints Jesus' head with expensive perfume. Jesus praises her, saying she's preparing him for his burial. This act stands in stark contrast to the darkness that follows. Enter Judas. He offers to betray Jesus for money. Disillusioned by Jesus' refusal to be a political or military messiah, Judas seeks a profitable exit. The Jewish leaders agree to arrest Jesus at night, away from the crowds. During the Passover meal, Jesus shares a powerful moment with his disciples, transforming the meal into what we now know as the Lord's Supper. He foretells his betrayal and Judas leaves to set the stage. After the meal, Jesus and his disciples go to the Mount of Olives. Jesus predicts their abandonment and Peter's denial. He then prays in agony, asking the Father if the cup can pass from him, yet submitting to God's will. The disciples, meanwhile, fall asleep unprepared for what's to come. Judas returns, leading a mob to arrest Jesus. He identifies Jesus with a kiss. In the chaos, Peter cuts off a servant's ear, but Jesus heals him and goes peacefully. The disciples scatter as predicted. Mark uniquely mentions a young man who flees, leaving his linen garment behind. This anonymous figure adds a layer of human vulnerability to the narrative. Jesus faces trials before Annas and Caiaphas. The Sanhedrin struggles to find consistent testimonies to condemn him. Finally, the high priest asks Jesus directly if he is the Messiah. Jesus affirms, and they convict him of blasphemy. Meanwhile, Peter, warming himself by a fire, denies knowing Jesus three times, fulfilling Jesus' prophecy. Mark 14 is rich with lessons. Honor God's work, recognize the enemy, but don't fear him, value community, lean on God's power, and trust in God's fatherly love. Jesus spends his final days teaching his disciples to understand the true role of the Messiah in God's plan. From betrayal to sacrifice, this chapter sets the stage for the ultimate act of love on the cross. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this breakdown helpful, like and subscribe for more Bible insights. Until next time, keep studying, keep praying and keep growing.